Hi, guys. You can play. Thanks very much. Uh, bonjour, ça va? C'est ça, je m'appelle Jean-Philippe Rosier. En fait, je suis brésilien, mais j'habite au Rio, mais j'habitais en France quand j'avais 4 ans. Donc, uh, uh, je suis content d'être ici. But I'm supposed to make this speech in English. So uh, I have to, I want to show you guys how I'm feeling about this right now. Um, and I have to confess, if you, put, if you can put a little bit louder, the sound will help me, thanks. And I have to confess that I was a little bit worried about uh, my presentation because I wanted to make it more fun for you. And also, um, I, wa I'm, I was a little concerned to stay on the 12 minutes time. So I create something to help it to make it more fun for you and also to help me to keep in time. So you see this white bar? It takes 20 seconds to cross the slide. And uh, when it reached the end, it changed automatically. So it means that I have no clipper, no control of the presentation. And uh, I, I hope you guys have fun. I hope you guys cheer for me because it will be a big challenge. Uh, and yeah, it's all right to start. So the future is near, and I think we should start to look at all these big issues that we are facing now. And uh, when I'm talking about big issues, I'm talking about uh, education, I'm talking about water, I'm talking about global health, food, security, poverty, energy, environment. Those are very important issues that we have to pay attention right now. And uh, in this talk today, I'm going to talk, I'm going to address my talk to education, which is something that I'm working on it. Uh, if you have a look on this two, yes, two pictures, you see uh, one is from uh, 1903 and 2013, and th there are two classroom pictures, but there's no difference. And I'm not just talking about the classroom or even the the, the subject that is, ta that is taught. I'm talking about the whole educational system. Nothing changed. And I'm talking about more than 100 years. Uh, if this is the right way to do education, I believe it's wrong. That's why I'm here representing Perestroika, which is a school, is a school of creative activities. Uh, uh, we are held in Brazil in five main cities. And we believe that education needs to change. We believe in education as a different way of doing things. We believe in education as a fun stuff, entertaining stuff, a pleasure stuff. So that's why we want to be nominated as the worst school ever. Because if the system, the educational system is right, is right, is like this right now, so we believe we need to change. And uh, don't you think you need to change? Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. So and that's why we develop our own methodology. And we like to call it experience learning. And all the pictures and all the movies that you'll see in this presentation from now, they are really pictures and really movies that we make in Perestroika classes and Perestroika experience. So I'm going to be sharing a little bit about it right now. So what is experience learning? It's experience learning It's a mashup of classic concepts and contemporary movements, all inspired by the post-digital revolution. So we put it together and we build this new way of doing and new ways of improve the learn technology. When we look at the UNESCO four pillars of learning, which are learn to know, learn to do, learn to live together, and learn to be, we saw some, similar, some similarity with our model. But I want to share to you our four pillars and see what you guys think about it. So our first pillar is not learn to know, but it's pleasure to learning, of learning. We, as, as, as I said, we believe and we want to turn education in a form of entertaining. So when, we, uh, when our students go to our class, they are expecting much more than a good lecture. They're expecting to have fun. They're expecting to meet interesting people. They're expecting to know something new. Our second point talks about go there and do it. We believe there are just two kinds of people in the world. One, there are creative, intelligent people that develop and they have a lot of idea, but they just write down and with a notebook their ideas. And we have the second group, which are creative, interesting people that have a lot of ideas, but instead write down, they just go there and do it. They execute, they put the ideas in practice. And we stimulate that a lot in Perestroika. The third point is community. 
We see our class, our environment, as a place, as a hub to connect people with contemporary mindsets and help them to co-create, to develop some new ideas, to be friends, and also to have fun. That's what the things that we believe. And the fourth point of our learning methodology, it's transformative experience. We try to make everything happen as a, a game-changer experience. And it could be a teacher dresses as a princess, or it could be a blindfold uh, stand-up class, or even you could attend a whole course drinking wine or drinking a beer. That's the way that we see education. That we, that's the way that we're doing and developing this in Brazil. So everything that we create, it's 100% open. Uh, it's 100% free. We subscribe that on Creative Commons most per permissive license. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about it, or if you want to use that in your company or lecture or whatever, feel free to go and do this. So uh, we, we came up with 23 principles, and we divide that in four, four blocks. I won't have time to talk about the 23 principles, so I will pitch up, pick up one of each block and try to explain to you and then uh, make this presentation uh, on time. So the first one is the content. So of course we have to be concerned about the content, but the thing that we have to th uh, think about is how we make the content tangible, how people will understand that. And then that's why we create the next day factor. So it's something that we are very concerned about, what the student will learn today, then he can put in practice the, right, uh, the next day right there, right before, and then he will see and put in practice all that he learned. Um, the second one, it's form methodology. And when I'm talking about form, I'm talking about what kind of, how we're gonna deliver this, which experience we're gonna uh, give it to them. And then we develop something that we call tagline, to help people and synthesize everything that the student, uh, everything that the, the, the teacher or the, the speaker uh, passed to the, to, the, to the student. So we took, we take all the content and we try to summarize that. And of course, uh, with the author vision of the, of the author, and we try to systemize and, give in, uh, and get in one, just one line, just one quote or one tweet, we call it tagline. And after that, we create some experience or metaphor to help leverage the knowledge. And the fourth, the third one is the emotional methodology. And to talk about learning, it's, uh, we obviously we have to talk about people. And I think we share is a good example of it. Create environment, change the way that we feel, change the way that we understand things, change the way that we learn. That's why here we are not in a regular hotel room. We are here in this place that is very creative, and this changed the way that we see and the way that we feel. And the fourth point is structural methodology. And to help you understand, uh, I, I brought here a framework because we use a lot of frameworks to see the whole picture, to see one thing in one page. And for example, this is our framework from uh, entrepreneurship course. So it's clearly, you can see that we have 15 classes and we start with a check-in and we have three classes about concepts and introduction and then two about experience and then tools and, and how-to, master classes, connecting the dots and the checkout. But the most important thing here is not the framework. It's, it's you guys understand that when you are creating something or if you want to improve your learning process, you have to build a framework. We'll help you to develop and change the experience of the, uh, the crowd and the audience. So those are the four pillars. Um, it, as I said, they are 100% open source. We are working on the translation. It's still in Portuguese at some points. I, I mean, uh, I hope so, uh, soon we're going to have this uh, translated in English. Uh, for us, School is an imaginary place between the brain and the heart. And we totally agree with this. And we work pretty hard on it. We put all our effort to trying to make this happen. Uh, we are just, uh, we believe in people and we know that people are unique. So um, we want to look to the future and stop just looking at it. We want to start changing things. I think we should stop complaining about everything and we start creating about the things that we are not, uh, uh, so they're not supposed to be right. So we believe in that. Do you? And if you do, join us and let's try to create 
a new way of, of doing education. Let's try to create a new system model. Let's try to change or even improve a little bit the education in the whole world. Thank you very much.